Allow me to reintroduce myself. I'm Chris Monroe. R to the OE. I flip houses, rent cars, and make money. You know I'm not no motherfucking dummy. This is how we do. Hello. Hey, Carolyn. How are you today? I'm okay. Good, good. Staying warm or cool, I guess. Not warm. <laughs> uh, yeah, we haven't hung out very much outside. Yeah, I just got back in. So, yeah, you were asking about the uh, option number two. Um, yeah. Yeah, what did you want to know? If, if you're not assuming it, then what's the actual, like, technical process called? Uh, so, it's exactly what I put on the email, which is buying the house subject to the existing financing, meaning we're not going to do anything but continue making that payment that's on that loan. We don't have to ask the bank for permission or any of that stuff or request them to do anything other than we do, like I told you yesterday, have to be able to communicate with them as far as insurance and things like that. But outside of that, we're not asking them for permission to do anything. I mean, I understand you're not asking for permission. I get all that. I'm saying what I didn't understand was like technically called. Like, are you subject like to exactly what I sent you in the email? We're buying the house subject to the existing finance. That's exactly what it's called. You get that big email? Yeah, you got the email because it's option two. It breaks it down on there. Hold on, let me put you in. And it also has some frequently asked questions and things. But yeah, basically, it's um, buying the house subject to the existing financing. It happens all the time. So it's not any. Uh, it's not assuming a loan. We're not getting new appraisals. We're not going to get a new uh, survey or any of the you know 19 things required to buy a house is really pretty straightforward and simple we go through title the title company just like any other transaction and uh, as long as everything makes sense we close the deal up pretty easy we do them all the time well then why are you willing to offer nine thousand dollars more for it because we're we're getting it with financing the financing in place we don't have to get a brand new loan from another bank to pay off another bank does that make sense? So say if I was to go the other route and to go get a loan, even though we probably couldn't get a loan because we got too many, we have a lot of houses. So say if I was to go the other route, go get a loan, go through an appraisal process, have them come out, check everything, uh, do a survey, uh, go through all the things that they want to do to approve a loan for us to get a loan to go pay off a loan. The only people making money in that deal is the loan company. Not you, not me. The only people that make money in that deal is the banks. We're not looking to do that. We're trying to put more of that money in your pocket. Does that make sense? That part makes sense, yes, but I still, I don't see the wording that you were saying earlier. What do you, mean? you don't see the wording where, where you mean? You were saying something about wording of what it's called and I don't see it. It should be on the email. So, I didn't I didn't even open the actual contract yet. Is that in there? No, in the other email. The original email with the offer with the show option one and option two on it. Option yeah. two it breaks down exactly how we, we would have to structure something around that debt. But basically, that debt will stay in place. That will not be changed at all. That will stay there just like it's been for the last however many years. We will continue making that payment each and every month. I understand all that, but I don't understand how that's transferred. Like, what is it called? Oh, oh yeah. No problem. So let me be very clear. So when a, a property has two things. Typically, a deed which shows the ownership. That can be Joe Smith. That can be whoever names on the deed. That is the owner of a property. That's one part. Part two is usually a mortgage. A mortgage is just a lien. They are not the same. They're not two. They're not together. They're two separate things. Everybody's been told our whole lives that there are two things that are together, but they're not. One's the ownership, and one's a, a lien on the property. And that mortgage is simply a lien. So that's why we don't have to necessarily pay that loan off when we buy a house. We're transferring the ownership without paying off the lien. That's exactly what we're doing. We're okay. continuing to pay the lien just like it's already been set when it was originally signed off. So I hope that kind of cleans it up a little. 
Does that make sense? Yes. So when I said the assumable part, then what does that mean? Because I'm not actually sure. I just was, I was just told that it's not assumable, the, the current loan that they have. Correct. We're not asking to assume anything. That's why I want to be clear. This is not assuming a loan at all. Zero. We can delete that whole thing because that's not what we're looking to do at all. We can't assume it. So to assume the loan, we would have to go through a whole process through the bank and they would have to approve that we can assume the loan, right. which is yeah. just like the same thing I just said, a bunch of red tape that's unnecessary. Now you can go that route if somebody chooses to, but we would not be doing that at all because that's unnecessary. It's the same thing as what we were doing before. They have to go through, appraise the house, inspect the house, approve everything, approve us, approve you. You know, it's just a lot of unnecessary steps. It can be done that way, but we don't conduct business in that way because that's another money suck just to pay the bank basically okay is that all making sense it's making more sense yeah yeah a lot of people don't even know you can do these things because we've been told our whole lives oh you buy that house you got to pay that loan all the way off and the banks are just smiling they take the money and go lend it out to the next person and go get a 30-year mortgage and never pay these houses off in 30 40 years as a matter of fact they just came out with something called a 40-year mortgage Oh my That's God. Crazy. Yeah, you're never going to pay these people off. So I'm like, why are we paying them off? We'll leave it in place and just continue making the payments, and there's no harm, no foul. And it, there's nothing that can stop a person from doing it. It's just, you know, most people don't even know that you can do it. Hmm. They just think, oh, I have to go through a whole long process, go through a real estate agent, pay a bunch of fees. You know what I mean? You could do that stuff. But when you know better, we do better. And so since I've learned the game since 2018, people that I learned from been doing it since before you and me were even born I said oh wow this is a whole other side of real estate you don't even know exists because we've been programmed to believe to pay all these people when we don't need to that money can go in your pocket okay so that's why we can pay a little more all right sounds good and then um I forgot that the insurance company lady she like uh stopped taking calls at two so I didn't get a hold of her before two to talk about it yeah so uh or were you able to get the most recent mortgage statement uh yeah i have it but i still haven't heard back from um the other person yet so i was kind of waiting for that to see uh -oh. what they might say yeah that's fine but like i said we don't really as long as the seller of the property can sign off we go through title um, that's really the only thing we need in the way to communicate with the lender. Outside of that, all these extra people, we can put them in there, but we're, they're not required. You can definitely talk to whoever you want to talk to, ask who you want to ask, but it's just extra people that don't really have a say so in anything in this transaction unless you want them to. You know, it's totally up to you. Okay. All right. Well, Any other questions? Let me know. Thank you very much. All right. Have a good day. Bye. So I want to get into real estate, but don't know where to start. Well, what I would say is to join the Future Cash Flow Club. It's a community of investors where we talk about wholesaling, we talk about creative deal structuring, buying houses subject to, all of the creative stuff that everybody's talking about. You don't need a real estate license or any of that. Wow, where do I sign up? Well, I would say go to futurecashflowclub.com. That's futurecashflowclub.com. You can even get a free trial. Try it out today. When you check this out at onlineburnerphone.com, you no longer have to listen to voicemail recordings. Once you hear they pick up by voicemail, you simply press a button and it leaves your personalized voicemail for your prospect. You can also send personalized emails. You can also retarget your contacts. And guess what? All calls are recorded and tracked for quality and training purposes. Try it out today with no credit card. Onlineburnerphone.com onlineburnerphone.com